Hey everybody, I'm Patrick and this is Rocky Mountain Style. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if not, welcome back. I do reviews on boots, other men's footwear, and all sorts of other men's wear. So if that's the kind of thing that you are into, please consider subscribing to the channel. Today I want to do a quick show off of the new collaboration between Danner and Huckberry. They've done a lot of collaborations in the past, uh, including this Logger Mach 917 that I got back in the fall. But today we're talking about what they call the Mountain Mach 917, which is right here. Uh, pretty distinctive looking boot, as I believe you would agree. Um, it's sort of a reinvention inspired by uh, a boot from their past with the, uh, you know, the stitching like this and the mock toe design, sort of a, you know, a chukka height. Um, you know, really interesting looking boot, I think. And when I first saw it, I wasn't quite sure what I thought about it, but it's definitely grown on me. Uh, one thing I want to point out, it's got the same 917 Vibram outsole as this Mountain Mock. My guess is they're going to be using this on more products going forward. Uh, so I do actually have quite a bit more experience with how the shoe feels and performs than I otherwise would have since I've had this uh, Mountain Mock 917 for several months and been using it um, periodically for you know snow removal and things like that. But we'll talk more about that after the break. So if you're interested in hearing more about the Danner by Huckberry Mountain Mach 917, please stick around. All right, let's get into the Danner by Huckberry Mountain Mach 917. So let's talk price first, 220 bucks. Uh, this is not made in America. It is made in... Vietnam. So it is resolable though, or recraftable as they call it. It's got this sort of stitched down construction. So it can be resold if you send it into Danner. I'm sure other cobblers could probably put a different sole on it as well if you wanted. But for a leather boot that has comfort and it has a unique style, I mean, you may not love it, but you can't deny that it's pretty unique. Um, and it is resolable for 220 bucks. That's all in all, pretty decent. And that's not even getting into the, you know, waterproofing, the Gore-Tex and things like that. So I won't call it a screaming deal, but it's a, it's a pretty decent deal. I'd say there's, there's a good amount of value you get for $220 as long as you don't mind uh, things being made in Vietnam. And let's face it, if you're only buying us these days, it's pretty hard to do. So uh, yeah, 220 bucks. Uh, let's talk real quick about some of the features, at least as featured on the website here. So this is, of course, a reinvention of an old design called the Canoe Mock, which is basically this uh, sort of leather lower piece that's then stitched using this X pattern uh, to a kind of a suede or rough out upper. Uh, this, of course, the reinvention here uses this 917 outsole from Vibram, which I find to be a fantastic outsole. As mentioned in the intro, I have the... Um, the other one that they did back in the fall called the Logger Mock. There we go. I was kind of stalling until I could remember the name. And that has become my de facto snowshoe. Now I have boots that I specifically bought for the snow. I have other pairs of boots that I've acquired as part of running this YouTube channel. Um, and these are the best. The, the grippiness is hard to describe. You know, this summer, sorry, this winter in Colorado has been pretty snowy and I've shoveled my driveway many times, walked through many parking lots, haven't slipped once, literally not one time have I slipped, which is pretty unheard of. So these have supplanted every other pair of bad weather boots I have. Um, my feet stay dry. I'm sorry, not these, the, uh, the logger mock, the old ones that have the exact same outsole. So these also have the same Gore-Tex lining on the inside for waterproofing. And so I can vouch 100% that the outsole and Gore-Tex combo makes these actually extremely good at keeping your foot planted where it needs to be and keeping water out. Now, of course, these are a little bit shorter than the other ones, given that these are more of a chukka style. So, um, you know, you're, you're going to have more water entering through the top than you may. Okay, so that's enough about that. Um, mock toe design, of course. We talked about the Gore-Tex. Removable or they're light footbed features three layers of open cell polyurethane foam. Okay, so yeah, that's of course going to wear down quicker than a, a leather insole uh, will, but they are quite comfy. They pretty much feel like sneakers when you put them on, no break-in required. So 
really easy boot to throw on and just go. We've talked a lot about the Alto, like I just said. Uh, they do come with two lacing options, which is nice. They come with the sort of round cotton two-tone laces. They also come with a leather lace. I think I like the leather better. And eligible for recrafting services, of course, and a 365-day warranty. I mean, I'd say most companies will stand by defects and workmanship uh, for that period, but it's nice that it's listed there. Full grain upper, cowhide and suede, uh, Gore-Tex, Vibram SPE, which is a rubberized EVA for the midsole, very cushy. Uh, 917 compound on the outsole, made in Vietnam. Sizing, I have a size 10, which um, you can see as of right now, this is listed as a limited edition, but as of right now, all sizes are still in stock. I have a size 10, which is what I usually call my normal boot size. On the Brannock device, I'm somewhere between a 10 and a half D and a 10 D. So regular width, 10 to 10 and a half. Uh, the 10 is actually a little snug. It's not snug to the point where I wouldn't, it won't stop me from wearing them, but there's not any extra room. So I'd call this, uh, you know, a true half down from Brannock kind of a thing, um, ish. So. Or, or true to size if you want a little extra room. Okay, before we end, I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to my patrons. I recently started a Patreon page for Rocky Mountain Style. There are several tiers offering different kind of perks. And my goal with this is not to generate revenue for myself. It's to uh, bring in some cash that I can then send back out in the form of giveaways, perks, and other things like that. So if that's something that interests you, you want to participate. Um, we also have a Discord server and all that good stuff head to patreon.com slash Rocky Mountain Style and check those out. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, if you have any questions about this particular boot, I would love to answer them. So leave a comment below in the comments and I 100% will answer that as soon as I can. Without further ado, goodbye. Thank you for spending your time with me. Have a great day.